That's so weird. It's like a helipad, but it, it does not seem big enough for a freaking helicopter. Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I'm gonna be riding the TW200 today, but first I have to do some chores. So I have to get this giant like branch log thing like way way the hell down there i'm gonna probably like turn it around and then hook it up and then go through over that way uh it's a lot easier dragging it with your vehicle yeah this thing's pretty fun but it's definitely not as fun as the tw200 that should hold all right let's see how this goes oh so much easier than just dragging it by hand might just be brushing up against the tree a little bit no big deal that's the nice thing about having an old SUV or truck um, is it's not a huge deal if you brush up against stuff because look at my uh, hood it's all all the clear coats gone on it so I don't really care if I get scratches that's good all right now I can go ride after I put this away Let's go. Welcome to the Dual Sport Adventure. Today, I'm going to find some cool places. But first, I gotta get some gas. All right, that's enough of the jump cut talking. What is this thing? What does this do? I have no idea what that thing is. It's a circle of some kind. I don't know what, you're just supposed to ride over it or what? Ooh, the Viper. Oh boy, oh boy, it sure is windy out today. That's for sure. So I finally got some real uh, dirt biking-ish boots. I got the Alpine Star Tech 2s, if you can see them. It's kind of to show you, show you them when I'm riding my bike. But they are kind of stiff, I will. I will say that I think they have to get broken in before this I was just wearing like some work work boot type boots some like workish hiking boot things and the problem I had with those was the shoelaces would get caught and shit like the shifter like this one time I was like just riding and then my boots like caught in the shifter and that was kind of scary so I was like laces are not the best thing in the world to have when riding a motorcycle the wind is slowing me down. I'm at like full throttle right now. The place with all the golf carts. So many golf carts. Wow. <laughs> Look at all of the golf carts. It's just so many. I don't think I've ever seen so many golf carts in one place. What would you guys think if I uh, traded my bike in in one of these golf carts here? I could do some golf cart vlogs. I have lots, so many options. I have honestly never been over here. So we'll see where this takes us. Antenna test range. Uh, was that a dirt road I passed? It was a dirt road. I can never pass up the chance to ride on a dirt road. See how it goes up this way. Whoa, what is that? Oh, it's like an upside down satellite dish. Maybe this is where they test the antennas. Antennas! I wonder if, I, I'm, if, I wonder if I'm gonna have to deal with security guards. What the hell? They have a helicopter. They got a helicopter pad. What the hell? I'm a helicopter! That is not the sound a helicopter makes. <laughs> That's crazy. That almost doesn't even seem big enough for a helicopter. What the hell? It's more antenna testing over here. Ooh. 
At least there's no one over here to yell at me yet. That's a plus. Ah, another dirt road. Let's see where this one takes us. Ah, it's gonna be a little bit before I get used to these boots where they get broken in. This is weird operating the controls for my feet. Let's see what this sign says over here. Attention, you are breaking the law riding your dual sport in here. Oh, if blue light is flashing, contact the waste treatment plant. What? Ah, oh, there's a, another dirt road over there. I don't know if I can get into it though. Oh, is there an opening? Oh, damn, there's no opening. Oh, there's a small opening for like really skinny people. But I definitely can't fit my bike through there. Damn. Oh, it'd be so fun to explore out of, over in these hills. Do, do, do. Oh, another fenced in awesome dirt road. So it's over there, shed. <laughs> Let's go this way. I think it's just another dead end gate. I think this is like a horse place. Freaking concrete walls that aren't in use yet. They're like, they're just saving some concrete walls or floors over there or something. Let's go explore some more shit. Find some more shit to explore. Explore! Oh, look at a big tire. <laughs> the tire's bigger than my TW200. Look at this thing. Look at this shit. There's a trail that goes under this bridge. How am I gonna turn around? If there wasn't so much water, I could probably go through it. See, it's like there's a trail right here and then it like picks back up over there. So, you know, it's like, it's a good place to go, I guess. I'll go up this way. <laughs> if I can. <laughs> wow, that actually worked. Can I get through here? Is my question. That seems a bit difficult. And I have to worry about that power line that's right there. I'm just gonna go back down this way. Oh, this is hard enduro. Bam! Oh, that was kind of fun, actually. I quite enjoyed that. Let's go explore somewhere else. Do some more exploring, guys. I love exploring. <coughs> Woo! That's how I feel every day around my dual sport. Bicycles, bicycles, bicycle, bicycle, bicycle. Another bicycle, bicycle. Hey, you guys want to go see an abandoned, abandoned barn? Oh, abandoned barn. Yeah, let's just go look at this abandoned barn really quick. Look at this thing. Oh, the door's falling off up top. It's all boarded off. There's a like an old pickaxe right there. Oh, someone broke into the barn. It wasn't like that last time I came here. Let's look in this abandoned barn. There's some farming equipment. Yes, sir, we got the farming equipment out here. Da, 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 da. Well, guys, thanks for watching this dual sport adventure. Um, I'm actually going to be making another dual sport adventure right now. Uh, so, the reason I'm not doing it all in one video is because I just don't want the videos to get too long, guys. So when they get too long, it's, I just feel like people don't want to watch all of it. So I'm just going to try to make like shorter videos around like seven or eight minutes. Yeah, so I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.